Michael Clark Duncan is a Hollywood actor who has gone from a handyman to an in-demand actor. This big man combined strength and human kindness. The actor was born on December 10, 1957 in Chicago. His family was not complete, a single mother on her own raised Michael himself, as well as his sister, Judy. The guy grew up without a father and could easily get into a local gang. But his mother saved her son from harmful influences, and in general, despite his large size, the actor was a very calm and kind person. While studying at the university, his mother Jean fell ill and Michael was forced to leave the educational institution in order to take care of his mother and provide for her and his younger sister. He started out as a security guard in clubs and bars. For this work, he went to the gym, after which he became even more massive, swinging up to 140 kilograms with an increase of 196 centimeters. Later, the future actor moved to Los Angeles, where he worked as a bodyguard. He guarded movie stars like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. At first, he was comfortable in a new role, and he managed to earn quite a lot of money. Perhaps he would have remained with the bodyguards, but there was a turning point. One of his clients was assassinated. At that moment, he realized that he no longer wants to be a bodyguard, this is too dangerous a profession. He started with serials and small episodes in the cinema, but soon Bruce Willis himself called him and offered to star in the film Armageddon. Michael became very good friends with the cast on set, especially Willis. Later, they will play together in the whole nine yards and it was Bruce who would advise Michael to play John Coffey in The Green Mile, and he himself said if you want to become a successful actor you need to believe in yourself more than anything else and not allow anyone convince you that you will not succeed. After the premiere of the film, there was not just a breakthrough, but a real sensation when the whole world started talking about Duncan. For the role of John Coffey, Michael was even nominated for an Oscar as Best Supporting Actor, but never received the award. Naturally, after this role, other offers fell on him. Of course, he did not play more such great roles, but he became an absolutely demanded actor. In 2001, Michael played the role of the huge gorilla Atar in the film Timothy Burton Planet of the Apes, and a year later he successfully tried on the image of the warlike Balthazar in the spectacular adventure film Chuck Russell the Scorpion King. On account of his 65 roles played in films and TV shows. One of the most recent projects in which Duncan took part is the comedy drama series The Finder and the sports drama The Challenger. Maintaining such dimensions affected the health of the actor. In 2006, he had heart problems and urgently needed to lose 40 kilograms, so the actor became a vegetarian. This relieved Michael's body. All his life he ate high-calorie foods and it was just hard for him to carry such a weight. The actor's girlfriend, TV presenter Omarosa Manigault, did not manage to become his wife, the couple was preparing for the wedding, which was scheduled for January 2013. The actor was going to start a family, but the heart attack that struck him did not give the plans to come true. On the night of July 13, 2012, the actor's girlfriend found him lying unconscious at home. Michael Duncan has a heart attack. His girlfriend helped him hold out until the ambulance arrived by doing an indirect heart massage. The actor's life was saved, but not for long. Michael was hospitalized and died on September 3, 2012. His friends and colleagues came to see the actor on his last journey, among whom Tom Hanks was noticed. Duncan's grave is located in the Hollywood Hills Cemetery. He was only 54 years old. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comments under the video. Thank you all for your attention and good luck.